Hello everyone. My name is Ashish and I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about all of the pathways for IMGs so that they can get UK post-graduation or they can become a consultant in the UK in their desired specialty. So this video will be about all of those pathways and I'll be describing all of those pathways in details. So this will include people who are new graduates or people who have been working in their home country in a specialty and who want to come to the UK. So watch this video till the end and I hope that this video helps you. If you want to support my work, you can click on the like button. You can share this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. The first pathway is for new MBBS graduates. So these are the steps for them and this is the ideal pathway. First of all, clear your IELTS and this should be done in the beginning of internship. After that, when you get a PLAV1 date, clear your PLAV1 and this should be ideally done during your internship as well. After that, once you have passed PLAV1, book PLAV2 dates as soon as possible and you can work as a doctor in your home country and then go to the UK and appear in the PLAV2 and then pass the PLAV2. After you have finished your PLAB 2, apply for a GMC registration to practice as a doctor in the UK. And then once you are registered, go to jobs.nhs.uk or trackjobs.com and then apply for a non-training job. And this should be at a junior level because you have just graduated and you must not be having a lot of experience. While working on that non-training job, do all your audits, do all your researches, teaching, and everything which you need to apply for a training post and get a crest form signed. This is a form which says that you have competencies similar to a UK trainee who has completed their FY2 or foundation year two. And once you have had your crest form signed, then apply for the desired training post through Oriel. The next pathway is for doctors who have gained some experience in a specialty while working as a doctor in their home country. So first of all, it's a good idea to go for the desired Royal Colleges membership exam. For example, it could be MRCP for doctors who have done medicine, MRCS for doctors who have done surgery and Royal Colleges exam can be different for different specialties. So go for them. Once you have passed all of them, you can directly apply for a GMC registration and then find a non-training job. You can find a junior level job or a registrar job, which is a senior level job and you'll have to go to jobs.nhs.uk or track jobs website for this. After this, there can be three pathways. So the first pathway after this is you can either work as a non-training and you can get your crest form signed, which is foundation year two competencies form. And then you can apply for a junior level training post, which is a core training post. The second step can be if you want to apply for a higher level training post, that is, you don't want to go for core training, you want to go for specialty training directly, then you can get the core competencies form signed while you're working as a senior doctor or a senior doctor at a non-training post in the UK. Go to your supervisor and then ask them whether you fulfill all these core competencies and if they're happy, they'll sign it for you and then you can directly apply for ST3. The third pathway is for doctors who have gained a lot of experience in the specialty and they could be consultants in their home countries. So they can directly come and join as a non-trainee senior doctor and then they can complete all their paperwork to show that they have competencies to work as a consultant in the UK as well and they can do this via the seizure pathway. And this is for everyone who don't want to go for the conventional training pathways and want to become a consultant directly. There are a few things to note here. If you have worked in a surgical post or in radiology for more than 18 months in any country, it could be UK or your home country or any country, then you cannot apply for core training in surgical specialties or radiology. You'll have to go for ST3 or higher level training. So keep this in mind. The next pathway is for doctors 
who are not sure whether they want to live in the UK for a long time or not. They are doctors who have completed postgraduate training in their home country and they just want to work in the UK to gain some experience and then want to go back to their home countries. So MTI pathway is the right pathway for them. I have made a separate video about MTI pathway so you can check that out as well. So that's the next pathway. All right, so those were all the pathways which will help you to become a doctor in the UK and you can choose the pathway which you want according to the level of experience you have. I hope that this video cleared a few things for you. If you want to see more such videos, then click on the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.